like I never got sick and so I just never at the time I never at the time I guess I didn't realize that it was going to be anything. Symptoms usually clue us into what's wrong with our bodies. That's if we listen to them. A West Des Moines woman is thankful she did after experiencing a symptom many of us have every now and then. Channel 13's Megan Ruther has her story. It's new at five. It's not so bad. The only sign of Sandy Craig's health scare is the way she walks. I have a little bit of a limp. But she couldn't even do that a little more than a year ago. I had a stroke, bleeding brain aneurysm, resulting in a stroke back in February of last year. She had a horrible headache for a couple of days when she decided to see the doctor. The physician told her to go to the hospital right away, which was where the 56-year-old had the stroke. Jerry was given an option whether or not to pull the plug. That's how close to death I was. Craig spent about a month in the hospital, which she doesn't remember. Then she came to On With Life Brain Rehabilitation Center in Ankeny. When I got here, I couldn't, I whispered, I couldn't talk, I couldn't eat. I mean, I, I could eat, but I needed help, and I couldn't walk. I couldn't sit up. She spent three months doing therapy, sometimes 11 times a day, even hosting a toddler yoga class to help prepare her to return to work at a daycare. She's spunky. <laughs> um, she had a great attitude. Um, we would try to give her anything, anything and everything, and she would look at us, maybe give us a, a, a smart comment back, but she'd say, sure, let's try it. On With Life serves around 80 people recovering from a brain injury every year. About half of those suffered a stroke, and not all see the same results. Every stroke can be different. Um, every brain injury is different, and so it's you, you know you have someone that comes in with with such and such diagnosis, it could present totally different than someone that came with a fairly similar stroke with different, slightly different part of the brain. Sandy graduated from On With Life in June of 2014. Sandy is is just shy of a miracle, and got back to hers. But just getting back into the swing of things has really been tough. But everything is a positive. It's been a long road, though. <laughs> a long road. She's glad she gets to walk. See you later. In Ankeny, Megan Ruther, Channel 13 News. Wow, great survivor story. May is National Stroke Awareness Month. Experts say to remember fast to understand if someone is having a stroke. Here's what it means. F is for face. Ask the person to smile. Look and see if one side of their face droops. A is for arms. You want to ask the person to raise both arms. Same principle here. See if one drifts down lower than the other. S is for speech. This is usually a pretty obvious one. Does the person have trouble speaking? Are they slurring their words? T is really important. It's for time. Call 911 immediately if you notice any of these signs or symptoms. Other ones include numbness or weakness in the legs, sudden confusion, sudden dizziness, or uh, like we just heard Sandy experienced, a sudden and severe headache with no obvious cause.